In this karmic universe, what are you, karmically speaking? I've been building a picture through all the previous video lessons of this series. So let me put it together in a summary and reminder. First, you entered karma and its universe freely. What this means is that who you are is beyond karma. Karma is a device and an algorithm for play, for experience. Second, karmic play begins with you limiting yourself to a single point of view, also termed a locus. You locate, you mask. You mask into location, into body, into character. Third, you are in constant encounter with other points of view, other bodies, other characters. The universe, fractured into a myriad of points of view, allows for karmic play. Fourth, body is ultimately a set of frequency. Frequency is oscillation between two connected poles. Frequency can be woven into greater and greater codes until we get the structures we are currently familiar with and playing with, namely the earth realm and our human earth bodies. Keep in mind that the complexification of the universe involves nested points of view. That is, and this is just an oversimplified example, each of your cells has a point of view, and yet the human body, navigated by you, is also a point of view. And as one human, you contribute to, for example, the culture of your city, the city being a body also. Thus, karma allows for quite a bit of structural intricacy that enriches the possibilities for play. Thus, and this will be point five, karma is the management of all that frequency and all the codes and all the bodies and the structures and the processes that arise from those base frequencies. The purpose of that management is continuation and expansion, both for individual points of view as well as for the game or universe as a whole. The preservation and flourishing of life with a capital L and the realization of individual potential. Sixth, that management or algorithm of karma is balance. The fundamental balance is the oscillation period of frequency, binary. Which leads us to point seven, which is that the bodies extrapolated from frequency also have balanced extrapolated oscillation periods. This is termed cycle, karmic cycle. The poles of cycle are birth and death death, or more accurately, the poles are both birth and death, birth-death. Birth-death is the cycle of everything. When the rain is born, the sun dies. When the rain dies, the sun is born again. Each has their time of being and happening in cycle, and thus life is balanced and preserved and flourishes Potential may continue to be realized. Play within the device may continue endlessly. Point eight. You are currently masked and playing as a human. Your human body is a karmic body. All bodies are karmic bodies. That is, your human body is an artifact or record of karma. Your experience as a human of necessity is the experience of the cycles relevant to a human body, as well as encountering and participating in the cycles relevant to anything appearing and taking place and being alive in Earth. 
For example, you participate in the water cycle. And point nine, your experience as a karmic body, which at present is human, also includes flows that come your way. You are not in control of flow that comes your way. Flow is a consequence of all other points of view, bodies, and cycles doing their thing, especially those within your local environment. Your body encounters flow that will have effect on your own body and your own experience. Your body releases flow that will have effect on other bodies and other experiences. This flow between bodies constitutes play of the game. Flow is balance finding itself, i.e. karma, the wheel of karma turning. So these nine points are things I have already brought up in previous videos in this series, Keys of Karma. I wanted to put it all together so far. The question remains, what do I do with the flows that come my way, especially those that are painful for me as a human? And some of you may be concerned as well with flows that release from you so that they do not cause pain for another body. And how do I get in and stay in line with flows that feed me my hunger? I'm going to give the short answers right now. There are two of them. And then we will continue to fill out more detailed knowledge regarding them in ongoing videos. The two ways to engage healthily with karma and PS, you need both of them, not just one or the other. They are, one, aligning with cycle, and two, living a liberation path. Let's talk more next time.